So I am bringing you something brand new from Auto Trail in 2024. So this is the XL range and today we have the 690T. T 690 because it is six meters 90 long, T because it's got the twin beds inside. So I'm gonna show you around the outside to start. So the Auto Trail XL is on the Ford chassis. We've got the 170 brake horsepower here. This one is packed full with extras. So basic spec, this is starting at 65 grand, which I think is actually really, um, yeah, a really good price for a, a motorhome, brand, brand new. This one is fully spec'd. So you've got the gray paint, you've got the um, black alloy wheels, which does increase your price. So the one we have got today here is 73 grand. So that just explains to you how many extras you've got on here. So coming down, I think it looks really, really nice on the outside. It's got the, um, the awning at the top here. So that again is an extra, but you know, something that's really handy. Coming down, first thing we see, massive, massive garage. I'm not joking, I think I could live in here. I don't think I need the motor home. I would just need to live in the garage. So again, great for going away for long periods of time. I mean, you're probably gonna be able to fit bikes in there. Everything you need is gonna be in here. And I think a garage is a really great thing on a motor home, and this one is huge. Also got storage, which I will show you. <laughs> so here you have your locker here with all your electrics in, so you can access them from the outside. But yeah, I think first impressions of this are really great. Just while we're around here, this is part of the Autorail XL range as well, but this is in the black cab. Let's go and look inside. Yeah. So coming in to here, we're gonna start at the front today. So this is a three berth, four belt. So your two um, main berths are at the back with the single beds, which I'll show you in a bit. Your other berth is here, so this is gonna fold out and make your third bed. First impressions in here, so roomy, like there's so, it feels so spacious in here. I don't know whether it's because this doesn't come all the way over the cab. So it just feels really, really spacious. I also really like how they're finishing this with the fabric. The mix of sort of the, the cream um, wood, you've got the dark grey, you've got the light grey. Just think it looks really classy. And for the price, you know, I think it looks more expensive than probably what you are going to pay for this. Um, this is on the automatic which again is an upgrade, but something that I think is totally worth it. Coming down here, we've got this, which I think is the... great. So coming into the kitchen, you've got loads and loads of space in here. Um, I'll fold this down so Heather can actually come into the home. Okay. Sorry about that. So yeah, kitchen, you've got your three ring hob, sink. But I think like the finishing touches are just like the tap, the matte black tap with the matte black heater, it just all makes a massive difference. It makes it feel like it's a lot more expensive than it is. And I know sort of 65 grand is still a lot of money, but in motorhome terms, it's probably not. Um, you're gonna see a lot more expensive motorhomes than this um, sort of in the show. Mirror, which obviously for me is great. I think it's something that you really need. And it's something that some motorhomes do actually miss off. Um, just again, with the finishing touches. Coming in to the back room. Now I've not been in here yet, so it is a surprise for me too. I mean, it's just your basic bathroom, really. Nice big mirror. Very spacious. A lot of room in there. So it's, yeah, just a bathroom, isn't it, really? Yeah. Storage again. Yeah, plenty of room in there. Nice little hook here. Again, with the finishing touches. Massive, massive fridge. Really big fridge. Quite a big freezer for saying that it is just a section on a fridge. So again, that's something that's um, definitely going for this. I haven't really mentioned um, storage, but there is um, is a lot of storage as well in the kitchen. Nice big Are they soft clothes as well? Yeah. Oh, I love a soft clothes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so again, with the storage, I think that there's plenty in here. Mm -hmm. Coming back to your fixed single beds. So they are really high, but obviously they have to be high because you've got the big garage. And I know sort of, if you've got mobility issues, this isn't going to be the motorhome home for you because you are, you have to make a sacrifice. You either want the garage 
with the high beds or you want the lower beds and you don't get the garage. Um, so it is very, very high. Um, there's not an awful lot of storage back here. So like at the sides, there isn't any like real storage where you're going to be able to put... Yes, but you haven't got the storage at the top, but what you have got is shed loads of storage down wow. here. So you've got that both sides and you've got the little cupboards at the back here as well. Yeah, they're good, aren't they? That's a new one. So these are your cushions that will make um, the singles into the double, which is nice because it makes a massive, massive double. But again, once you've got them out, I mean, in the day, you could just chuck them in the, uh, the garage if you needed this as storage. So first impressions of this Autotrail XL range. I really like it. I think it's really modern, um, really fresh. Yeah, I think it's, um, it's really nice.